हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कामत एस्ट्रोलॉजी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द लास्ट लूनार एक्लिप्स और चंद्र ग्रहण इन द ईयर 2023 सो द एक्लिप्स स्टार्ट्स ऑन 28 अक्टूबर 2023 एंड इट गोज ऑन फॉर सम पोर्शन ऑफ 29 अक्टूबर 2023 द इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट इज व्हेन वी हैव द लूनार एक्लिप्स वी आल्सो हैव the day of sharad purnima which is a very auspicious day so what will be the results of this eclipse on us as individuals as well as on the world in general let's explore that so first this lunar eclipse occurs in the night and so it is visible in most portions of the world especially in countries like nepal india sri lanka bangladesh mongolia hong kong Afghanistan, Turkey, Europe, Australia, parts of US, Japan, Indonesia, even in eastern parts of Brazil, Nigeria, Britain, Spain, Sweden, Malaysia. So you can see the list of countries given on this screen where the eclipse will be visible. So unlike the solar eclipse which occurred on 14th October 2023 and it was not visible in India the lunar eclipse will be visible in most portions of the world the next question is what is the timing of the eclipse the eclipse starts at 11:32 pm ist new delhi time on 28th october 2023 and it goes on till 29th october 2023 3:56 am so the eclipse is there on both 28th and 29th october visible almost for 4 hours 25 minutes now the date of 28th october 2023 coincides with sharad purnima and this is the day when the rays of the moon are ideally considered auspicious but now because of the eclipse those rays will not be completely auspicious Sharad Purnima is the day when Krishna performed the Ras Leela with Gopis and Radha in Braj. It is believed that even Lord Shiva took part in this dance and he was known as Gopeshwar Mahadev therefore. It is also considered to be the birthday of Goddess Lakshmi and on this day Goddess Lakshmi is said to visit the earth to look into the actions of human beings. Therefore people worship goddess lakshmi on this day but now because of the eclipse falling on this day during the time of the eclipse it is not advisable to worship goddess lakshmi instead during the time of the eclipse it is advisable to worship the moon people usually drink a glass of milk and kheer on this day because of the kojagiri purnima or the sharad purnima however during the time of the eclipse it is not advisable to consume liquids such as milk and water if you want to worship goddess lakshmi it is ideal to worship goddess lakshmi before the eclipse starts now this day is also considered as the birthday of valmiki rishi who wrote the ramayana so you can see a number of auspicious events fall on this day but unfortunately the eclipse also coincides with this day now this is the eclipse chart you can see the eclipse is starting on 28th october 2023 which is also a saturday so the eclipse happens on saturday night and it is a full moon day hence it is purnima The eclipse starts at 11:32 p.m. IST New Delhi time. And when the eclipse occurs, you can see Moon and Rahu are in the sign of Aries, represented by MO and RA in the Ashwini nakshatra. The eclipse is also occurring in the month of Ashwin. Jupiter and Uranus are also present in the sign of Aries or Mesh along with Rahu and Moon. and this sign of aries and mesh is aspected by shani or saturn represented by the letters sa 
as shown in this chart. On the other end of the spectrum in the sign of Libra, you have Mars and Mercury at 17 degrees and Sun and Ketu, thus forming a complete Grahan Yoga on this day. Now once the eclipse starts, any prayer done to the moon or to Lord Shiva is considered to be very auspicious and can give very good results. Now because this is a lunar eclipse, it refers to an eclipse of the moon and moon is nothing but our mental state, our mind, our emotions. So during this time, expect some kind of emotional upheaval. You might find that your emotions may not be in control or you are getting some intense feelings regarding something in your life. So the lunar eclipse has more of an effect on your mental state. Also Saturn is expecting the moon, thus forming a Vishyog in this time period, which means that a lot of negative emotions, a lot of stress may come out in this time period. You might feel a bit disbalanced. The best way to counteract this is to meditate on the moon. You can chant simple mantras such as Om Som Somaya Namaha or Om Namah Shivaya 108 times. Once the eclipse starts, you can continue doing more malas if the time permits for you. On the day following the eclipse that is on Sunday, you can donate liquid items such as milk, water, to poor women and that will also bring you a lot of good merit in terms of your karma. Now this is a perfectly normal eclipse. There is nothing to fear. I have seen lot of uh, channels and astrologers creating fear about this eclipse. But let me tell you there is nothing to fear at an individual level. It is a normal eclipse occurring in the night. So meditate during the time of the eclipse, have your regular sleep and the next day you can do the donations of liquid items such as milk, water to the poor people. But from mundane astrology point of view or Medini Jyotish, there are certain things which will trigger at the world level. Now first thing is this eclipse is occurring in the sign of Aries which itself indicates new beginnings something starting new and because you have Uranus, Rahu, Moon and Jupiter in a fiery sign of Aries. Aries is also the sign of transport, of aerospace, of quickness, of horses and this indicates increase in warlike events across the world. So the Israel-Hamas war that can intensify some other countries can also provide indirect support in this war and it can have a big impact on the global economy and the jobs worldwide. So that is one negative side of this eclipse but at an individual level there is nothing to fear. Now because Saturn aspects the sign of Aries, the eclipse also indicates increase in mental stress because of certain world events. So that is one area we need to be careful about. Worshipping Shiva can reduce this stress. When this eclipse occurs, you can see Ketu, Sun, Mars and Mercury in the sign of Libra. Mercury represents the stock market. Mars and Mercury are having a very close conjunction. Both these planets, Mars and Sun are hot planets. And this indicates volatility in the stock market. So suddenly you might see the stock market coming down. Governments and armies represented by Sun and Mars are affected by Ketu in this time period and therefore it indicates certain wrong decisions from their side which may cause a lot of stress to the general public. So these are some of the general negative effects of this eclipse. Now people born with the Mesh Lagna, the Mesh Rashi, the Aries Ascendant or the Aries Moon Sign, the Libra Ascendant, Libra Moon Sign, Tula Lagna, 
तुला राशि अश्विनी नक्षत्रा भरणी नक्षत्रा कृतिका नक्षत्रा चित्रा नक्षत्रा विशाखा नक्षत्रा दीज पीपल विल एक्सपीरियंस मोर स्ट्रेस इवन इफ यू आर बॉर्न विथ द स्वाति नक्षत्रा देर विल बी सम स्ट्रेस मेंटल स्ट्रेस ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ द एक्लिप्स सो मेडिटेशन इज द बेस्ट ऑप्शन टू रिड्यूस सच स्ट्रेस नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ द कंटिन्यूअस सोलार एंड लूनार एक्लिप्सिस दैट हैव कम अ मेजर अर्थक्वेक इज पॉसिबल इन द पोर्शंस वेर दिस एक्लिप्स इज विजिबल विद इन द नेक्स्ट वन मंथ now because jupiter is also involved in this eclipse along with uranus rahu and moon it shows religious disputes and terrorist activities increasing during this time period uranus is also involved so sudden events related to aircrafts aerospace airplanes can happen in this time period so we have to be a bit careful on this front use our brains before we make any decisions and not get swayed away by religious propaganda which is harmful to your country so friends overall there is nothing to worry at an individual level on the world front i have already mentioned what kind of events can take place so this is the only thing i want to convey to you about the lunar eclipse it will be the last eclipse of this year and it is going to bring about a lot of new changes now why new changes because immediately following the eclipse on 30th october 2023 rahu and ketu will transit into pisces that is mean and virgo that is kanya respectively so this is definitely indicating major changes on the world front as well as in our individual life Now one more query is is sutak kal applicable for the eclipse because it is visible in india sutak will be applicable for this eclipse now because mercury is with mars it indicates united states can now get involved in economic problems as well as on the war front indirectly so in the united states this eclipse will have a major impact in terms of some economic depression incidents related to fire can increase during the time of the eclipse as well as it shows a lot of increase in naval activity and wars on the oceans during the next few months post the eclipse so friends if you like this video please mark it as liked for any queries write to us at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com and we'll try our best to answer you you can also visit our website astrosevaworld.tripod.com so friends thanks a lot bye take care and stay safe